first thing I like to do is just thank everybody for coming, man. Like I say, I appreciate. I don't really appreciate you guys doing this for for yourself as well as I'm doing it for everybody because without y'all we ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? So right now it's already Friday, early in the morning. We got a nice ass crew out here. Guys. It looks like we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I just want to thank everybody for coming out, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, then one thing I want to talk about before we go into anything else is we got a, a beautiful opportunity here, man. It's just a, to me, this is the best facility around. This, I, I seen a few other airstrips and. This whole facility, the way they treat us over here, man, is, is beautiful, man. I just want to take advantage of the situation and show appreciation and try to uh, be able to be welcome back. You know what I mean? So just want to give Mickey a round of applause for giving this to the Everybody else is amazing here, man. Sandro and everybody helping out around here and how it's just it's just beautiful, man. I actually, to be honest with you, I'm burnt out with all the stuff we be doing, man, but this is a race right here that I feel like this bring me back to my roots. Like, I love this race right here. It's like the real racing. Like, all the rest of the stuff, to be honest with you, it's so serious and it's just on a whole nother level to where the fun is right here. It kind of take the fun out of it. So right here, that's what's people like, you didn't bring no car, man. I just want to enjoy watching y'all race. You know what I'm saying? I brought my, my Jeep to participate in that, but for the most part, I want to see y'all race and enjoy and have fun, man. This shit fun. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. For you guys that don't know me, I'm Mickey. Me and Bodie started this shit. We couldn't get in a racetrack, couldn't go nowhere. We just kind of locked the gates and brought people in and hit. Uh, neighbors heard the noise and started calling people. We, didn't know. So, we want you guys to race. Uh, I own the racetrack, built it from the initial initiation. I knew nothing about drag racing when it started. Road course guy, boat guy, knew nothing about this whole straight and straight line. And Bodie came in here. Some of you guys know the story in the beginning. Uphill battle when we got here, and I'm glad that you guys came out here. Um, every time we do this, we get a little bit better. We thank you guys. That we, how many guys were here at the first podium? Uh, I think it, we can ask them. I think we're a little bit different today than we were then. And, uh, Not we're different. To get better. We've got some plans to keep improving. Um, I think no one's been here any two times back to back, and there hasn't been something significantly done. And, I need your guys' help though. Like, all right, we're here racing, and like Bodie said, we have to be top notch as participants. We got to help police people around here. Uh, there was a there was a long TV shoot here. We won't go into details. I think most people know what it was, but it left a really bad taste in some of my partners' minds. We had guys around here. Somebody decided it was a good idea to dump five gallons of used oil out in the desert on top of my trees, I'll leave it there. Uh, other guys are, you know, making messes. They're not bothering to put dry sweep down. They're not cleaning up after itself. Some asshole thought it was a good idea to go dump his used oil in my RV dump, you know. And, and what that what happens there is that reflects on the drag race community. We're a community here, and I think I'm part of that now, and I want to stay a part of it. And I want you guys. I'm not sending anybody out. But it's our job. We see some idiot decide that he's going to warm up his tire, get on a trans brake, and do a quick hit on this freaking taxiway. That dude needs to go home. Because that's a guy that's going to run over a kid, run over a dog. He's going to bring in the freaking authorities, and we're not going to be able to come in. So I'm going to ask you guys, police each other. Take care of your guys. Help us make this an event for you guys. Because I want to keep doing this. You know, we're going to keep putting money in here. We're going to keep making it work. We're talking about... We have two big things we want to do next. We're going to improve, we're going to improve the lead box in the first 100 feet of each lane. We've got some stuff that we're putting some money in there. We're trying to put a staging lane down this back outside so that way we can stage some cars there in pairs and exit here. Just keep trying to make it better. Keep listening to what you guys need to do. And I can do that, and I can fight for you guys to have a place to race as long as you guys help People in the gate, people in my office, podium, everybody makes mistakes. We don't know what you know sometimes, but we know more than you. <laughs> That's just the way it goes, right? They think they got the final answer. You think they do? There's no sense. I got one major rule on this racetrack. If there's a punch out in the pits, I fucking want to be involved. Come get me. Right? What's going to happen? You're going to come get me and we're going to sort it out. Tempers are going to come down and we're not going to get in big street fights. 
here to race cars, not fight. So let's let's act like adults. Let's have fun. Let's talk shit. Let's race. Let's take each other's money. But let's do it like adults. All right. It's, it's a street race, basically a no prep street race. But we are in a facility. We have to act. Like All right. Thank you guys so much for coming out. It sounds like I'm talking to kids or whatever. It's not my intent. But if there's a couple in here who took that way, maybe you need to talk. Those of you that take it as adults, you get it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, also, a lot of times, anybody, he, he made a statement saying we don't know everything. It's, 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 it's new to us. We just started. It's getting better every time. But when you guys got questions, it helps. Like So in this situation, anybody got questions, let us know and put it out there. We, we can answer it or even get help from other people. You know what I mean? Everybody's opinion matters. At the end of the day, this is for everybody. So anybody got questions while we're while we doing this meeting and stuff, bring it up so we can uh, talk about it. Um, well, let me see if I can help answer a couple really quick because the races are going. So those of you guys that haven't been here before, when you pull up here and you get ready to go down, down to the pit boxes, okay? We're all facing this way right now, right? So if we want to leave in the right lane, we're going to drive down on the right-hand side. Because what we do is we get down and we crisscross into the box, so it's not such a tight turn. So if your intention is to leave the right lane, when you drive down, drive down on your right. Does that make sense? Everybody kind of get that? It's the easiest way to move. So that means when you guide you out here, if you want to leave on the left side, go out, I mean, you want to leave on the right side, go out to the left side. No. 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 No, you go cross it. Left to left. Oh, left, right, right. Left, 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 we have two things going on. We have to come back down the same road we went down on. So if you're pulling out, somebody's coming back, somebody's trying to leave, they're on radio communication, you can't see real well. Your crew's going like this. And so if you got a crew member and that's who you're listening to, make sure he's listening to him. Okay? So we're gonna allow when you're when you're racing and you go down, four crew members with your car you can go down with you. We don't need 12 down there. We don't you guys want to go down and hang out in the in the burnout grandstands or what we call money pit, right? Where you want to go down on the edge, you want me to take your money, come on down, right? Only way you're going to get in there is if you have a VIP credential. General admission band will not get you through there. There is someone out there checking. Right, right there, Shane's looking out there. And um, if your crew goes down there, they're going to take a buggy, a car, they're going to push you down. When you leave. They need to leave with you. And please, please, please drive down and back on the outside edges of the asphalt, not in the dirt. Run down the dirt, it's going to put dirt out on the racetrack, it's going to make it hard for you guys. That's important, guys. All right. If you notice, there's some vegetation going up there. We did it on purpose because it's stopping the sand from migrating a bit. We do not say the W word around here, but that thing right. starts to show up and moves stuff around, it, that helps you. If you guys drive through there, you're going to break it, break the cross damage the vegetation and it's going to make it that's all making the racetrack better so if your crew goes down with you let them get you set up get in there do the deal you leave if someone's if they got to go pick you up at the other end and they leave as soon as you guys cross the finish line you guys go get them the faster you guys go get them we get you off the racetrack the faster we keep guys moving most of these cars drive back i know but if you have to go get them just do it right away okay just stay out of the dirt don't drive back down the center where the drive lane is. There's no sense in us taking a UTV that's got dirt on its tires and putting it right down the drive lane. You got to, when you cross over here, go straight across, pick up the other lane and go down. Okay? Does anyone that's here not understand that? If you, you listen, if you don't, it's, there's no crime there. If you're confused on it, come grab us afterwards and we'll walk you through it again. Come see how they'll tell you exactly how to do it. I'd rather you guys ask than do it. For the four, for the four crew members. No, they got a wristband. Regular wristband. Yeah, regular wristband. That way, if you're gonna feel it, 
more people we get down there flexing around, doing stuff, tripping on each other, stepping on each other. And God forbid, but don't go down there and back somebody in the freaking box with a baby in their arms. Don't laugh, it's happening. Oh, I mean, time. that's the stuff that we have to think about. <laughs> we have to think about. You know, if that child gets hurt on that pit lane, what happens to us as a race community? Right? Don't go down there with your little dog on a freaking leash. I think you're going to walk out in front of the car and be back at somebody in right? Those are the things that we have to be smart enough to think about in advance and take care of stuff. All right? You're going to hear me preach safety, 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 safety. We're big on it. We're already doing something that has a little bit of risk factor to it. So let's do it the best we can. One last thing. If the cars are moving, the staging, try not to your kids riding the race around in front of the cars and coming back and forth. Just kind of keep them these off to the side if they're not. Make sure that I don't want a kid cut in front of me. Halo tent, so we did last time. A kid popped up, we had a motor home guy was trying to stay down, did not see him, almost got him. We don't have that happen. I always say, keep your pets close and your kids on leases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real, real quick on the burnout, for those that haven't been here, we have two sections. One section you're going to put the water in, roll through the water, and you Got a burnout area where it's already marked off as well. You can do burnout. If you want water in that part, I put it in there. But no burnout on the asphalt. Everything has to be on the concrete. And, and we'll show you guys when you get up there. But if nobody's there to show you, just kind of look up there. If it's judging. marked on the ground, it's marked on the ground. Marked. And we're going to leave with the front bumper on the edge where the concrete meets the asphalt. So you're going to leave from the concrete, you're going to stage in. We're going to pull you in, concrete, asphalt, put your bumper right there on the edge, and that's where you're going to leave from. And Cody can talk about what's going to be acceptable and what's going to be. So, we're going to go into this general, back right now, this is the way we're going to run the race. So, I'm going to bring you guys in. I'm going to stop you. It's a line. My goal is to stop you on the line. I'm not going to be super technical. If, you, if I don't stop you around the line, your car bumper is a tad bit in front of the line. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the lights. I'm not de de disqualifying anybody because, oh, you stopped a little bit from the line, so don't come running to me. Oh, boy, he was in front. I'm going to stop you as close. Now, if you're too far, I'm going to bag you up and bring you back in. But for the most part, we're not going to be technical and stop it, guys. Like, I got to get you out of the line. The line is there. I'm going to generally stop you there. But for the most part, and I'm going to pull your bumper up to the line. It's going to be my goal, right? But for the most part, if he's, a car is a little bit in front of the line, he's good. Okay, let's just let you guys know, and I won't never put a car way in front of the line. Um, secondly, I'm, we've got a, a, a light start, so I'm gonna activate the light. I'm gonna bring both cars in, <coughs> courtesy the turbo cars, of course. I'm gonna bring both cars in, and if, if a guy is staging and his turbo car is taking too long, and I judge that it's taking too long and this guy's been on trans break, I'm gonna hit the light. So I'm gonna I'm respect the turbo cars, but at the same time, I ain't gonna burn nobody down because your car won't spool up. You know what I'm saying? So just understand that. I'm going to make a, I, one thing about me, I, I don't do favoritism. I don't care if it's my brother, my dad on this side, I'm going to make the right call. So if I pull you guys in and I hit that light, best believe that I think that both cars is ready. You know what I'm saying? So, so just be ready for that light. And the light is the starter. If that light don't go on and the car takes off, he's early. He's late. I don't care if the light malfunctions and I fuck up, we're going off the light. So a lot of times we have a discrepancy saying, oh man, you held the light too long and the light fuck light is the starter. You can't leave before the light. So if, if, if we go up there and the light have a malfunction and you leave, the light don't come on you early. Just letting you guys know, first, first is worse. So if you leave early and the other car chase you, the car who left first is lost. Okay? Um, guys, let me ask you a question. Who has final say whether it was a clean start? I do. Whether it's Bodie or if he puts somebody else up there, they have. Yeah. And I'm gonna do you any good to go crying to Bodie or somebody else is starting or coming in. Mickey Bodie's being a dick and he might burn it. <laughs> Starter. And like I say, it's gonna be fair. I've been you guys been watching me do this for a long time. Ain't no favoritism, ain't no cheating, ain't nothing slick. It's gonna be a light and go. Um the uh, center line, right? This is yeah. yeah, if you cross the center line, you lose. Touch your Go over it all the way. Oh, it's a very narrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a very narrow very line. Narrow it's line. a very narrow line. You touch it, you're probably going to go over it. 
Very yeah. nice. So this is what it is. You, 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 you cross it, you lose. We ain't gonna even say touch. You cross it, you lose. Because I want to see the tire. I'll come back and make determine to see if you want to cross it. You cross the line, you lose. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna determine, like tell you guys this. If you cross it behind the car and you come back around, it's me, you're good. So, because it, it, it ain't gonna affect the other car and the shit that you driving crazy. Now, this is determined, and this is, I'm not gonna set that rule. I'm just asking you guys, do y'all think that's fair or y'all y'all wanna say cross or you lose, period? Cross you lose. It, it, make it, it, it make it safer, cross you lose. That's definitely yeah. right. So I'm giving you guys an option. I'm just see what you guys like. It takes a lot to cross it, man. It's a wide lane. It's a wide lane, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So just, just like this, yeah. cross it, you lose. 40 yeah. period. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's determined. Cross it, you lose. You out. And, and, and no matter where you at in the racetrack, you cross it, you lose. Inside line only? No, outside, outside line, you're driving in the desert. No, outside, outside you're in the desert. You're driving in the desert, come back on. You're going to dirt, you're going to win your leg. Yeah, you're going to go all the way outside. Here comes the vegetation. Oh, okay, we're good there. I think, I don't get it. 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 Oh, you smoke, you go down yeah. and do it. You burn out a long breath all you want. Yeah. But, so, here's the deal. We're going to break this down because we, we we don't have a lot of time. You notice we, we, we're trying to end before it gets dark. So, we're not going to go out and do a loud 10, 5, 6 burnouts. If you do one good burnout, I'm not going to allow you to do two. It just takes too long. And if you don't do a good burnout, I will allow you to do another. Because to me, that's safe. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to get your tires hot. But if I see a car don't do a good burnout, I'll allow you one more. But if it don't do a burnout twice, then you, you're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get up to the line and race. So, no, nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> so there's no burnout rule if your car don't do, so it is a burnout rule. If you do one solid burnout, that's really all you're allowed. If you don't do a good burnout and you go back to do another one, I'm allowed at it. See what I'm saying? So it ain't going to be no more than that. After you do it the second time and it don't work, Pull up to the line and just race. So what we do here to help save time is you're going to do your initial chip draws right here to get paired. Then when you race, the winner needs to stop right here and you're going to draw your chip for the next round. That way you don't have to hold another meeting with after me. There's no, you're going to draw it, you're going to hand it to us, and we're going to put you down. You know what pair you're going to be and what lane you're going to be in right away. If so you want your crew member to draw it, pull up, have him stand next to you and he draws it for you. But right then and there, that way, remember what we're doing? Yeah, that's not about that. Yeah, in a while. And that, that <laughs> yes, yes. The next class is already built. So, what do you need, John? How many, uh, we're going to allow the test to burn out. Go back to what everybody just said, right? So everybody can get a clear understanding. When you make a pass in the shootout, they're gonna, you're gonna, when you pull right here, you're gonna pull up the track, you're gonna pull right here. We're gonna give you a chip. Open your door. They're gonna write it down and see who you got. The next person that's coming, he's gonna get a chip. Open your door and go on back down. If you wanna find out who you got, then come back up here, I think it's car park or whatever, and look at the list. You see what I'm saying? So that's how they're gonna do it. That's faster, that way we don't have to keep doing meetings. How are we gonna pay today for the report? Like, We're gonna do that, we're gonna pay now. You're gonna pull it. You're gonna pull it. I'm not gonna give you one. If you don't stop, if you win and don't stop and draw, we're gonna draw for you. Hey, so and that's just the answer. If you just, I'm gonna you have, have to, my crew member draw for me every single time. That would be right so if I drive past, just know that he's grabbing my. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. That's, that's cool. I just want to get you so he's gonna come back. I yeah, tell you what, though, if a guy was against, then I'm gonna draw for him. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be yeah. 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 So we call it. Nobody not here. I'm gonna draw. Keep it going. Keep it moving. We don't want to take the guys in the pants. Trust Bodie. Trust Rachel. We're not carrying nobody together. The blind draw is just like you're gonna do it. Your hand has a magic touch, and you know who you're gonna raise and you're gonna stop the draw. So, hey, that's a good question. We're gonna just do this again because a lot of people it's their first time. So just so you know, when we come up, we're gonna let you guys know. We, so we have a spare. We'll have a guy there. No, we'll have a guy there. Wants to handle the hose. That's fine. But it's, you, know, you guys just they gotta drive like you know, have courtesy for your other races in the other lane and yourself. At the end of the day, when we get through racing here, we want to do this shit again next time. You know, yeah, we want. Yeah, just be courteous to that other drivers, man. Know that it is tomorrow, even though we all 
feel like we badass racers. I know we all got our egos. But at the end of the day, just try to say that's most important. That's so we can do this shit again, man. Um, one thing you just brought up is just it's just like drinking, smoking is the same as like drinking. So everybody be courteous. You don't want you guys uh, drinking or smoking. We out here, we're about to race. You don't want guys out here smoking in the daytime. We just sneak around, of course, oh, do what you want at night. But in the daytime, while we're racing, they don't want to see intoxicated racers. You know what I mean? So they don't want to see this type of stuff going on. So just have respect, little courtesy. That's all. Try to keep that down. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Again, it so, keeps, keeps us safe. You know, we think, oh, it's, I'm not driving. Well, we got a, a open class, which is uh, um, a big dog class. It's a uh, $300 buy-in, so everybody's gonna buy in, pull up, uh, pull up, and, and, and uh, sign up. Bodie, how about the test? You get paid uh, for test today too? Testing is all day. But we got paid for, it, right? No, so you just pay to get in, right? I didn't know I'm a little yes. oh, you remember last time, Saki, I got my ass handed to me because I didn't right. pay at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you already paid, so. So, um, good question. <coughs> Nobody, he only, he only charged, um, uh, he didn't, he didn't charge testing, uh, today. Okay. So the testing was, was up there. If you test it only, it's 50 bucks. Oh, okay. But if you're that, that's 50 bucks in there. Yeah, that's a damn thing. I didn't want to get caught on the bad side, but my name was a good class. Hey, listen up. Anybody want to test all day is fifty dollars. Anybody get in a shootout after the shootout start, you can't test no more until you lose. If you lose, then you can go and test. Right? So you, if you, if you yeah, so you can test after the shootout. Yeah. Pull up. At 10 o'clock, uh, what, what, what am I doing? Pull up. I'm going to go. We're going to start the shootout by 11, 11, 30. Once that starts, we're going to stop the guys. We're going to shoot out. Remember when I talked to him? I called you. That's your big dog draws right now, so you guys don't want to do this. Chip draw going on. Chip draw. 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 It's Friday. Today's shootout is run with you, Brian. Don't care about the power additors. Don't care about the size of the tire. $300 buy-in. These are the first two cars up right here. Look like it's an Arizona car right here. Versus, I'm not sure. Some of them I know, some of them I don't know. Or know of. But Arizona right here. I'm not sure if it's a Vegas or what. I'm going to try to look at the license plates. That might tell me something. Not really sure where this one is from, but... uh. Street racing, eighth mile, three hundred dollar buy-in. Run with you, Bron. Big tire, little tire, two, three, four. Power additors, all motor, everything. Bodie's event. These are most of the cars that's in the shootout. Well, all these cars right down here is in the shootout right here. All these cars are in the shootout right here. And it's a few more coming up right now. Big tire, little tire, Friday shootout. Grudge racing, whatever you want to do today. All these cars right here is in the shootout. First round, big dog. First round, big dog. The hood flew off. The hood flew off. Small tire car.
engine work. The generator was out of gas. Big tire.
I don't know who won. Y'all 